Hello, I'm Sue. I'm going to introduce you to the Hot Whopper chat forum. If you're not already on the home page, type chat.hotwhopper.com into the address bar. As you can see, anything that you send to and from the forum is encrypted. That's shown by either the lock in the address bar or some other sign in your browser. The first thing we'll look at are the choices that you have across the top of the screen. The first choice is the Home button. We're on the home page at the moment. The next choice is Discussions. If you click that, you'll be taken to the topics that are currently being discussed, with the most recent topics first. You can scroll down and see what people are talking about. The next item will take you to the Hot Whopper Wiki. This is a new wiki that I hope will grow into a very useful resource and climate reference. At present, it has a guide to the chat forum, links to climate websites, blogs, journals, data sources, and more. The next item takes you to the Hot Whopper blog. And the one after that to the Hot Whopper Facebook page. The last item on the left-hand side will take you to some charts. Feel free to use the charts, copy them, paste them, preferably with attribution. I try to keep them up to date. In the middle, the words Hot Whopper Chat take you back to the home page. And then if you go over toward the right and click on Activity, you'll see what's been happening on the forum. Mostly what it shows you is people who have joined the forum or changed something about their profile, for example, their profile picture. The last item on the far right of the menu is to sign in or out. We'll go back to the home page. If you haven't signed in and you haven't registered, you'll see on the right-hand side Welcome to Hot Whopper Chat. Underneath that, you can see two buttons, Sign In and Register. Whether you're new to climate topics or whether you're an expert, you're more than welcome to join Hot Whopper Chat. You'll need to click one of the buttons below. If you've already registered but haven't signed in, you can click the Sign In button. There, you'll need to enter your email or username and your password. And if you have forgotten, click on the word forgot. Then click sign in and you'll be taken to the forum. If you haven't registered yet, you can click on either the register button or the sign in button. If you click on sign in, down the bottom you'll see don't have an account, create one. Click on create one. Up the top, enter your email. Make sure it's a working email because you'll need to confirm it. Then enter your username. If you already have a username where you're known around climate blogs, choose that so that people can recognise you. Pick a password. It has to be at least six characters long. To make the password stronger, use a mix of upper and lower case letters, numbers and characters. Then confirm the password which means just repeat what you posted up top. You don't have to specify a gender, but you will have to enter the text shown in the recapture box. Underneath that, you'll have to tick you agree to the terms of service. Down the bottom of most pages, you'll see a privacy policy, cookie policy in terms of use. And if you click on those, you'll get to the relevant policies. Anyway, having done all that, you can click the box to remember you on the computer if you want to, then click sign up. What I'll do now is I'll sign in so that you can see what the members see. First thing you need to do is to type your email or username and then click your password and then click Sign In. The main difference you'll see 
is that you now have an inbox on the right hand side where you can receive and post messages to other members. You've also got your name listed up there which will take you to your profile page. On this page you can edit your profile, you can see activity if any, you can see notifications, discussions that you've taken part in and comments that you've made. You can edit your profile. You can change your email address. You can choose whether to let other members see your email address. Here you can also choose what forum layout you prefer. You can change your password. You'll need to type in your old password before you can change it. You can also alter your notification preferences. There are quite a few choices there. And finally, you can change your picture or post a picture. Let's go back to the home page. To be able to comment, which is what I hope you'll want to do, one thing you might be interested in is what people have been discussing recently. You can look down the discussions, and if there's a topic that interests you, you can click on it. Here's one. The question was asked, is misinformation about the climate criminally negligent? There's been a bit of discussion about that, and if you want to add your thoughts, you can leave a comment down the bottom. If you want to start a new discussion, click on the New Discussion box on the right-hand side. From there, you can suggest a category. For example, you might want to post about climate and weather, or you might want to make a suggestion and give some feedback. Give your comment a title, and then type in the box. You can choose any of these WYSIWYG characters, or if you want to see the HTML view, click on that little link there. When you're happy, you can preview your comment or just post it. You can also save it as a draft and come back to it later if you want to. Let's go back home. That's about all that I think you need to know to get started. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to post them in the suggestions and feedback forum. Or if you have a question, you can post it there as well. Either I or someone else will be able to help you. That's enough from me for now. Enjoy Hot Whopper Chat.